uh, today's practice diary is just uh, the same as always recording and uh, listening it's very simple <laughs> That's the practice, really, playing and uh, recording like this. Now I use a uh, bus loop station, which uh, records um, very nicely because it records only the signal and not the uh, ambient noise so you get a very dry signal a very dry sound and um, yeah this one is very familiar right I think you've heard it. It's a Bach theme. Oh, oh, that's wrong. Yeah, it's. Yeah, well, this is part of the practice. Even when you play uh, something wrong, mistakes. Yeah, you hear that? Um, rhythmically, when I played the wrong note, I actually noticed that I played the wrong note, and then I started rushing, as if to get uh, get over it quickly. Yeah, it's modulating uh, to the dominant because I'm in D minor here. Because then you could keep uh, modulating in fifths because you're in D minor. Then you treat this D minor as the subdominant, so we would raise the flat sixth like this, and then this one is the guide tone to the next key center like this. So it would just be this. And then you could stay in A minor, I don't know. And then that would be E minor. 
always going in fifths. You could even practice it very... Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> let's get used to the tempo. And then we'll start in F minor. And then we'll modulate in fifths. And hopefully we will end up very high on the on the neck. Because if in uh, F minor, the guy tone would be E, right? full sound this voice it sounds different up here so we'll do the same theme but now in time Okay, now I'm in E minor, I think. And I started in F minor. So we've gone a very long distance both uh, on the guitar neck and tonally. So we change the key center continually and also change the uh, uh, geography, so to say. Now doing this in position that would be hard to do this uh, uh, on, <clears throat> on a single string and in the, a single position because you have to combine both I think <laughs> stop now if I start in D minor I think I have to play the last part also in D minor <laughs> so I would have to find a way to modulate back to D minor it's the same theme right 
but it's it's similar but it's a very effective way to both practice music and practice technique think something like that you want to go a little bit outside and then quickly back because <laughs> if you do there is no performance here it's mostly just an exercise for yourself. Because if you pl keep playing this to someone, eventually they're gonna get really tired of it. That's that's better. This is more interesting, I think. Uh, there's more performance in that last uh, thing. And uh, speaking of performance, we're gonna record and listen. Okay, yeah, I think I'm on to something. But the level of play uh, falls significantly when you get some pressure to perform. But uh, it's good practice nonetheless. So we're going a little bit longer now. a little bit rough. Uh, I keep uh, accentuating some notes. Which is fine. But I want to keep it uh, constant. So yeah, that's uh, the practice diary for today. 